Like, G. Peace, family. What is going on? <clears throat> All my hip-hop fans, I'm not sure if y'all saw most of that battle with the RZA and um, Premier, classic. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge hip-hop fan, so I had a ball watching two of my favorite producers. Hey, Queen, how you doing? So, really just hopping on. First of all, happy Saturday. Hopefully, I think today's Saturday. Uh, let's see, on the course already. Hey, appreciate that, King Eugene. Uh, so, hopefully, everybody is out there safe. You're at home. Uh, you got to spend some quality time with the family. You're uh, utilizing this time to, you know, just decompress you know i know <clears throat> you know we all go through some trying times you know we have some you know a lot to deal with just with family and work and you know all that good stuff and so uh, i just wanted to come on here really just to talk about how excited i am about uh, my 30-day do-it-yourself credit repair uh, do-it-yourself credit repair challenge that i dropped today reese what's going on family and so uh for those who know me, they know, you know, I've been in this space for a very long time, been an entrepreneur for about 15 years, and credit was something I actually ran away from as a business because it's a million people that do credit, <laughs> you know, a, a million, but I just kept, no matter what I attempted to do from a business standpoint, it always was my calling. It kept pulling me in, and I said, you know what, my focus is going to be to educate people. I'm not here to sell credit repair. Anybody go to my page, they'll see. I'm not trying to sell you on the start for $99 a month and we'll get it. Like, that's not, that's, we're not one of those companies. Our main focus has always been to educate people because this is one of the spaces where we're losing. <clears throat> we're losing badly. You know, for those who are on a state of emergency uh, YouTube with uh, Puff, and uh, again, welcome IG, Facebook, I got both of you guys, both uh, lives running. And one of the things that Puff was talking about is that we have to get our finances together. Like, no more excuses. Like, this is the time that we're really putting together a strategy. This is the time when we won't have nothing but time to really focus on putting together a game plan. And we need to come out of the gate swinging. Like, beyond the fences, <laughs> you know, and so that was the main reason why I put together this 30-day DIY credit repair challenge, not just to give people just some, you know, uh, credit credit repair letters and have you go out there and try to attempt to do it yourself, <clears throat> although it's nothing wrong with that because I have eBooks that do have templated letters where you can go out you know, uh, attempt to repair your credit, your family, your friends, all that stuff. The main reason for this course was to really educate you on credit, you know, at a, at a, at a high level. Cuz, what's going on, man? <clears throat> to educate you on credit at a high level. Everything from understanding what makes up a credit score. Like, we should know what makes up a credit score like we know our favorite rap re record or Country Western, whatever you listen to, you should know what makes up a credit score. You didn't miss the course, Queen. You can go to the website, credit, creditrepairchallenge.com, creditrepairchallenge.com. It's an actual online course. So you can log in at your convenience every day over the next 30 days. And you can start it whenever you want. <clears throat> a new course or a new day will be unlocked. A new day will be unlocked. And so we go over everything from understanding, uh, you know, what is what is credit, uh, how to understand credit, uh, the, the power of the template letters, how to purchase an automobile. Uh, I mean, it's 30 different lessons inside there. Uh, credit inquiries, bankruptcy, student loans. These are the things that we need to understand more than your favorite rap record, more than the favorite TikTok challenge like <clears throat> we really need to use these times and I apologize I'm hoarse because uh somebody keeps all right let me pin it in here on Instagram because I literally was filming content over the past three days uh and 
I was losing my voice. CreditRepairChallenge.com. Boom. I was losing my voice because I was trying to get this course done for y'all. All right. I think I know how to pin it. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm not I'm not very uh, social media savvy, y'all. All right. There we go. <clears throat> so, put together the course because, yo, we got to do better. You know, like, one of the things that I learned in life is that, thank you, King Kendall. One of the things that I learned in life is that, <clears throat> We typically don't like to change our situation until we have a pain point. We typically don't like to change our situation until we have a pain point. Why do we have to why do we feel we have to wait till we get a pain point to want to change something? Like, why do we have to wait till the doctor tell us we're on the cusp of diabetes before we want to change our diet? Why do we have to wait till you are trying to buy a house and get denied and then we want to fix our credit. Why do we wait until we go and try to start a business and we strutting up in the bank thinking we're going to get a small business loan and they say you're denied? We need to start preparing ourselves today. <clears throat> now, for whatever it is or whatever goal that you're trying to accomplish. Because I promise you and I challenge you, no pun intended. Understanding the power of credit will change so many different things for you. And it's more than just about buying a house and a car. And I know I say the same thing often, but it's just like going to church. We hear the, the overall the same message, just different scriptures. Same thing when it comes to understanding this wealth journey. It's the same thing. The same message we just some some of us just need to constantly keep hearing it until that light bulb go off until we have that aha moment. Trust me, I've been there. I can remember when I was going through my journey <clears throat> and I would go to the same uh you know business meetings, business networking events, hear the same information from different people spending tens of thousands of dollars and then obviously I had a pain point and I said, "You know what? I got I got to change something." Right. Repetition is the mother of learning. Absolutely. And so once I got sick and tired of being sick and tired, I got tired of looking at my bank account and seeing <laughs> like it was no numbers before the zeros. <laughs> it was negatives. I got sick and tired of sick and tired of shopping at the 99 cent store. I got sick and tired of only putting seven dollars in my gas tank. Couldn't even put a full 10. I got sick and tired of. You know, not being able to uh, take a last minute flight to go visit a loved one because they're sick or it's a funeral coming up. I got sick and tired of sick and tired of making payment arrangements on my utility bills or making payment arrangements on my on my car note or buying a vehicle where my interest rate is in the double digits. You should never you should never have double digits on your on your automobile interest rates. I got sick and tired of sick and tired of. Of, of, of putting three times the deposit down on an apartment. I got sick and tired and sick and tired of having bad credit because having bad credit is brutally expensive. Y'all hear my son back there? What? They can see you, son. <clears throat> so I got sick and tired of just being average. Yeah. And not that there's anything wrong with that if that's what one, if that's the path that one chooses to, to take. But again, as I went through my journey and really started to say, you know what, what's going to help elevate me to that next level? And when I learned that wealthy people were able to create wealth by leveraging other people's money, it clicked. That's when I said, OK, I'm about to learn this credit game. And so from that point on, I took it extremely serious. I did everything I had to do to learn as much information as I can I, I took the investment to go and travel and crisscross the country to get these jewels from some very high level individuals to bring back to y'all. You know, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars, probably hundreds. I don't even know where it came from, from everything that I've done over the past five, over the past 15 years, excuse me, everything from, 
you know, signing up for every single course. This was before they had digital courses to buying books, to having audio books, to, you know, investing in other businesses that didn't work, to taking jobs that I really didn't want to take, but I took it just to learn the systems of the company. Like all of that is the sacrifice that I made. And I know every last one of you guys are making and have continually still making or have made sacrifices to get to where you are right now. Don't let all of that sacrifice go in vain. So I'm going to challenge every last one of you guys. Let's not wait till a pain point comes before we want to change our circumstances. Why do we <clears throat> why do we feel we have to wait until something drastic happens before we say, you know what? I need to change this. Why not change it now? Why not change it now? And I'm telling you, <clears throat> credit is truly a way and, and, and it has opened up a lot of doors. And I, I'm speaking for myself. And I know what it's done for me. And I know what it's done for you. Trust me, I've talked to a, bit, a lot of you who have told me, King Will, man, thank you. My life has forever changed learning the information that you've been teaching us. And breaking it down to where it doesn't sound so intimidating. Because trust me, I know it's a lot of people in this space that use big words and all this stuff. First of all, I can't even spell half those words. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I tell y'all, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely authentic in letting y'all know that I can't spell that good. Uh, I, I, I mispronounce words, but I know how to count very well. That's one thing that I did learn how to do in school. I I was selling candy at a young age, so wasn't nobody gonna jit me out of a out of a penny. But I say all of that to say, like, let's get serious, y'all. Let's like let's really use this time to just lock in. And what my 30-day repair, 30-day DIY credit challenge course, you guys have the opportunity, one, not only just to learn this information for yourself. King Evan, what's going on, King? Hit me after this, Evan. Not only do you guys have the opportunity to learn this stuff, but this is, it's kid friendly. This is information our children need to be learning. Like I remember speaking with uh, a gentleman uh, who was telling me that, you know, he was like, I really admire what you're doing for your community, Will, teaching them about credit and finances and all this stuff. And he was like, we teach our children this at a very young age. And I'm like, <clears throat> and, I, and this is why I'm always saying that information is what separates us. And I'm talking about whether it's economically, whether I'm talking about it's racially, like information is not prejudice. It separates all of us. This is why I come to you guys and trying to give you the information. And I'm, I'm only here to share it with those who want it. You know, one of the things and everybody on my team know I have a saying. I'm not in the business of convincing you on why you need to change your circumstances. I'm not in the business of trying to convince you on why, you know, you need to change whatever you have going on to get out of that situation. Because I know what it's done for me. I know what it's done for the tens of thousands of individuals who've been following the blueprint, who've been coming to the corner classes, who've been diving into the workbooks, who've been popping up on the lives, who literally have purchased everything that I put out and anything like from my team or whatever. And I get it. And they'll all tell you it was well worth the investment. You know what? Yeah, I may not have went to Miami this this that past year, but guess what, King Will? My net worth increased. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you can't take your Balenciagas and all that to the grave. But you can leave some knowledge with your heirs. And so that's really what it's about. We got to get this information. So, again, I'm going to continue to challenge y'all. Somebody keep, some, this is off topic because my iPhone battery about to die. I need to charge it soon. Everybody, all y'all iPhone users keep telling me the battery is better. My battery never lasts. But I was just, because my 20 minute thing came up or 20% whatever it came up. But I said all this, I'm going to challenge everybody. Information is the new money. Information is the new currency. Content is the new currency. Credit is the new money. Update your software. Yeah, I talked about this in the very first lesson. On the very first lesson in the 30-day credit repair challenge, <clears throat> it's about mindset. 
See, before you, before you can even attempt to become successful, before you can even attempt to create wealth, before you can even attempt to say, hey, I want to make 100000 a month. Yeah, not a year, a month. Those are the type of goals that I manifest to my team. <clears throat> you got to have, this needs to be a hundred, this needs to be a hundred thousand dollars a month mindset first, because you can't, you, you know, you, you, you can't think you're going to level up with the same outdated information. You can't think you're going to level up with the same broken mentality, you know, and this is why I'm very careful about w the level of frequency that I surround myself with. Not that it's anything wrong with someone who may not, you know, have high goals and aspirations because it's a time and place for that type of, you know, uh, camaraderie. But when it comes to walking this walk, I only want to deal with people who have a high frequency and not saying you got to be in the millionaires club or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I only want to be around people that's driven. <clears throat> I remember one time somebody told me, they said, well, your, your, your personality is a little intimidating because you're always on. And I was like, I'd rather be on than, than lukewarm because it's, momentum is like a locomotive. Anybody who's ever ridden on a train before or seen the, 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 the momentum of a train, <clears throat> when a train is going uh, however fast it goes, uh, I'm going to just say 150 miles per hour north. When that train slows down, first of all, it takes a minute for it to slow down. But then once it comes to a complete stop, think about how long it takes to get back to full speed. That's how momentum works. That's how your mindset works. So understand, if I ever turn my switch off, it could take me two years to turn it back on. Because during that time frame, you get comfortable. You be like, I get to it later, or oh, I'm good. Like I don't care how much you know money I got. I still work. My work ethic is if I'm still eating from the 99 cent store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't care how well I think I've done. It's still a new plateau I'm trying to hit. And so the thing about people. And who, who are extremely ambitious. And, I, and I've talked to a lot of you guys out there. A lot of you kings and queens. And <clears throat> you guys continually motivate me indirectly. Because I'm seeing the drive you guys all have. That's what we have to do. And so when you, again, and this is why, you know, and I ain't mean to turn this into no sermon. But I just get excited and I get very passionate about just everything that. We're in a really good position right now. Like, <clears throat> granted, I tr trust me, I understand everything that we're dealing with. I know some people don't even have a meal. You know, every single, every couple of days I'm donating to a cause for people who don't have meals. Yesterday, I think I sent out like, you know, uh, uh, you know, about 50 something meals to families here locally. So I'm doing my part for whatever I can do. And if anybody knows anybody who is going through something, Send me a, a, a DM, you know, discreetly, you know, anybody that I know definitely damn for sure isn't going to go hungry on my watch. So I got y'all when it comes to that. But on the other side, <clears throat> I need y'all to also know I got y'all when it comes to getting this information, because I'd be damned that anybody that is in my circle, my loved ones, my peers or whoever don't at least have an opportunity to change their circumstances. You know, <clears throat> like, <laughs> Kendall, I got you. Send me your, uh, your information. Uh, one thing that, I, that I've learned is that nobody is going to care for us like we are. Nobody. And we have to be our own saviors. We have to create our own stimulus. We have to make sure that we're not in a situation where we're going to need another stimulus plan. If they want to give it to us, that's cool. But we have to start positioning ourselves to always be in, a, in position, one, so that we're good, our family is good, but also to be a blessing to others in our family or whatever the case may be. That's what I do this for. 
So I'm going to ask you, and you don't have to type it in unless you want to. <clears throat> and I know a lot of you guys I talk to or I've had interactions with, and I know a lot of us are in, you know, in, in a very blessed position. But what is your pain point? I really want you to sit back and think about that. What is your pain point? What will drive you to turn the television off so you can go and pick up a book to learn some new information? What is it going to take for you to get up off the couch and do start with five push ups to change your physical, you know, that you may not be happy with? What is it going to take? What is your pain? What is your pain point going to take for you to say, you know what? I need to change my financial situation. So my children, children are in position. You know, they always they say in, 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 the, in, the, in the good book, uh, 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 um, you know, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children, children. So everything that I'm working on is not even just for my family just right now, but working on creating a legacy for my children's children. If you, you know, walk in faith, that's what we're supposed to be doing, period. So I'm going to challenge you. <clears throat> this credit course may not be for you. You know what? No, it's for everybody. This course is really for everybody. It's it, it, it truly is for everybody. So what do you get with this course? So not only are you going to get uh, uh, 30 days worth of content from me. I know some of y'all probably get tired of my voice and all that stuff. So you're going to get 30 days of uh, content from me. Appreciate that. Thank you all, fam. You're going to get uh, access to my book, Credit is King, if you don't already have it. Uh, you're going to get the audio book as well. <clears throat> you're going to get access to three hours of exclusive content. Three hours of content. King Eric, thank you. Appreciate that, King. And King King Eric is, is already built a successful business himself, and he still see the value in it. So I appreciate you, King. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, you uh, also have an opportunity to get access to my full-time CEO. Uh, you get access to being able to have a a, 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 a a game plan analysis with one of my credit advisors. So even if you just want to have a game plan call, you have access to that within the course. We have a live community. So someone will be able to answer your questions if you have a question about credit, whatever. So you have access to an entire community. The course just literally dropped an hour and a half ago. I waited to go live because I know RZA and Premier was going live. And, of course, you know, I was watching it because I'm a hip-hop fan myself. And it was a dope, dope, dope live. But the course, 30-day do-it-yourself credit repair course. Again, for those who may want to know more about credit, for those. I had a lot of people who already know a great deal about credit that even invested in it. Because, one, it's a refresher. <clears throat> new information. New, new. It's a refresher. Two, it's interactive. It's a portal. It's actual video. So you can go back in. You can show your kids, all that stuff. You know, I did a pilot with uh, a friend of mine who he has, you know, three children. And I let him go through the course. And you would be surprised what his children have retained. Their lives have been forever been changed just because now they got access to information that they definitely aren't going to get in school. So I'm going to challenge everybody. Go to creditrepairchallenge.com. CreditRepairChallenge.com. Uh, also, too, if you follow me on social media, repost a flyer, please. If you don't want to uh, invest in the course, I'm completely fine with that. Uh, but at least post a flyer. Let's let this thing go viral, y'all. You know, anybody that know me, they know I don't ask for nothing. You know, I, don't, I could be starving, haven't eaten in three days. I say, you know what, I'll eat tomorrow. You know, but the one thing I do want y'all to do is to help me get the word out on this course because we need it. This is life or death for us. You know, I was speaking with a client of mine a couple of days ago, <clears throat> and they told me, they said, Will, I invested my last dollar buying one-on-one -on -one coaching with you. And my one-on-one -on -one coaching plan, it was, it was a nice ticket. They invested their last couple thousands of dollars to get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. And they said, <clears throat> not only was it life-changing, but I've invested in a lot of different programs and I've never got the high level of information that you gave me because it wasn't just X's and O's. You gave me the intangibles. And so when people often ask, what's the difference between what you can offer versus me going to some other credit company? 
What's the difference between me doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with you versus me doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with another, uh, you know, influencer or guru, whatever the terminology. What's the difference between me doing real estate investing with you versus me doing real estate investing with someone else? What's the difference between me doing business coaching with you versus doing business coaching with someone else? I'm going to give you the intangibles. See, you can learn the X's and O's. And most of the time, you don't even fulfill the coaching with that individual because you run out of X's and O's to talk about. <clears throat> I'm going to give you and I'm going to give you intangible information that no matter what industry or business you're trying to go into, you'll be able to run circles around individuals. I'm telling you, I tell you right now, everybody on my team who started out with me started out <clears throat> as either just a credit advisor, started out as an intern, started out as you know, just a processor. I mean, I think I have maybe 30 people on my team right now that I employ. Most of them have been able to leave their nine to five because not only have we created a, 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 a machine just within the company, but they're also applying those principles that they're learning for free because they're working with us to their businesses and showing them how to create systems and do all of these. Like I'm telling you, it's the intangibles that you're going to get. And that's also what you're going to get with this 30 day credit repair challenge. It's not just a bunch of, OK, how do I dispute a collection account? How do I dispute a, a, a charge off? First of all, you need to know what the difference between a collection and a charge off is before you can dispute it properly. First of all, you should understand what makes up a credit score. So now you know why your credit score is the where it's at. <clears throat> you need to understand what it makes up a credit score. So you're not going out there wasting money on trade lines. Again, I'm going to give you guys the real. And I just want to see all of us win. Again, I'm going to continue to challenge us as a community. I'm going to continue to challenge us as a family. Uh, I'm going to continue to push this forward through the culture. Let's go out here. Let's let's not wait till we have a pain point. OK, let's say enough is enough. The course is only ninety seven dollars. One time fee, less than your cable bill, less than your cell phone bill, less than probably your Netflix bill, because I know we add on all the different streaming services. Trust me, I get it. I just added on you uh, uh, HBO on my streaming plan. Because it was something I wanted to watch. Oh, McMillions. Talking about anybody who's ever seen McMillions, it's about a family or a group of individuals who actually rigged the Monopoly game from McDonald's. And everybody in their team was cashing out on a million dollars. It was crazy. I watch crazy stuff like that. <clears throat> Those are the type of series I watch. But it's only $97. Less than $3 a day. Is what is it cost you to invest in it? When does the the price doesn't end, King? That's the price. I mean, with everything you get, the value of the course easily we could we could sell it for fifteen hundred bucks. It's ninety seven dollars. Again, I'm here just really, and that doesn't even call, cover the cost of the software it costs to run it. But I want to put something together just for y'all for the community, for the culture. What's that series called? Uh, it's called McMillions. It's on HBO, McMillions. <clears throat> so it's only $97, the credit repair challenge. I'm telling y'all, let's let this thing go viral. Uh, what do you say someone do with their stimulus money? Uh, Queen, you know, I'm really... Uh, Ozark is dope too. Uh, I mean... What someone does with their stimulus check, you know, that's really up to them. I know some people truly, truly will need it for paying rent or bills or whatever. But <clears throat> I will say if you have an extra ninety seven dollars, this course is definitely well worth investing in uh, and give me your feedback. Trust me, I'm here for all the smoke. So <laughs> if you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. I mean, one thing I've been you know, fortunate enough is like I don't get a bunch of trolls because I do my best to always put out quality content, making sure I give you all some real, authentic, no fluff, no BS type of information. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Let's continue to support each other. Invest in education. Absolutely, Evan. Like We invest in so much, whether it's shoes and clothes, 
And all that goes out of style in three. Like the stuff we all bought before the whole pandemic is going to be out of style when this is over. Just think about that. I remember I bought a pair of designer shoes. You know, I thought I wanted them, tried them on. I, they look good. And they probably going to be out of style once this is over. <laughs> like I'm going to probably have to give them away. And so understand the one thing that will never go out of style is information. It may update, <clears throat> but the core principles of the information you get will always be relevant. That's how you're going to get ahead. So I'm going to, and so I'm going to give you guys this guarantee because people always say, well, what do I guarantee? What, what can you guarantee me for doing this course or signing up for your credit? First of all, I can guarantee you that, <laughs> that we'll answer the phone when you call or we'll return your email. It may not be right away because we do get busy and you go into a queue but the one thing I am going to guarantee you all is that <clears throat> when you change your thinking, that's when you'll become successful. When you change your mindset, that's when you'll become successful. When you get new information, I promise you, your income will change. See, <clears throat> I remember when I was younger, Sharima was going on. I remember when I was younger and... I used to always say, man, I'm going to get two jobs and have all this money and this, that, and the third. And one of my mentors told me, he was like, Will, two jobs won't necessarily make you more money because you want one job, eight hours. Most, typically, you can't work another full eight hours on another job <clears throat> within the same day. And if you can, you, not only are you going to burn yourself out. You're going to spend more money on gas. You're probably going to eat out more. Like, it really doesn't add up. But he said, Will, I promise you, if you get more information and make yourself more valuable in the marketplace, that's when you will make more money. So even from someone who is in corporate America, <clears throat> when you have information that your counterparts may not have invested in getting access to, when you go and apply for that entry level job or whatever the case may be, you stand out amongst the crowd. So now when you're in the in the interview and you're going through the negotiation process, which hopefully everybody who is applying for a job at least negotiates their pay, <clears throat> you're more valuable. That's how you stand out. That's in business. Your value in the marketplace is what dictates how much money you can earn. So that's the difference between, yeah, this lifetime access, $97 for lifetime access. Absolutely. It's the difference between somebody who offers quote unquote coaching in, in for, uh, you, they can only charge $100 versus somebody who offers coaching in a consultation and they can charge $1,000. Their value is higher. Now, you can't get mad at somebody who could charge 1000 just because somebody can't afford it. Go to the person at the hundred and build your build your value up so you have enough capital to invest in the one that charges a thousand. Because then, guess what? <clears throat> Once you get the information that the person who charges you a thousand get, now you become more valuable. Now you can go out there and charge five hundred. So now you're making more than the person who initially went at the hundred dollars. I'm telling y'all, it's all, it's level it's levels to this. These are the intangibles. This is the shit they don't tell you. I put it in a book. I, get, I gave it to y'all, all that. Does the course include repair letters? Absolutely. The course has everything. You name it, they got it. <clears throat> Only thing it does not have is access to my social security number. You got to build up <laughs> You got to build up your own social. Only thing it doesn't have is my social. But you got everything else, you know? <clears throat> so, where do you buy the course? You can buy the course from creditrepairchallenge.com. It's pinned up right there on my Instagram live. Appreciate that. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate you thinking this is a win. Love the book, Full-Time CEO. Thank you. Appreciate it. That book is a true story. It's about my life, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. <clears throat> Hopefully, I got enough time on my iPhone. <clears throat> I'm going to actually write a book about my life, like my real, real life. I'm telling y'all, I done been through some, some, some ish. Like, it may not look like it, I don't know. Some of y'all may think I may look like I don't had a hard life. I don't know. But 
Think about what would you do if you invested in a business, took your last dollar. Yeah, I know I need a sip. My throat is getting dry from all this talking. Thank you, Queen. What would you do if you took your last dollar, amount of dollars? Let's say you have about 20000 You invested into a business. The business went horribly bad. Horribly bad. Then you get sued. You get sued. So not only now for those who've never been sued before, when you get sued, you still have to defend yourself or else they get a judgment against you. Same thing like if, uh, if a creditor sues you, they put a judgment and they can garnish your wages. So I had to fight a lawsuit for somebody who sued me for no reason because I called fraud on him. Basically, I invested in the tax business and he was defrauding people. He's in jail right now. That's how the FBI came after him. That's how bad the fraud was. He sued me. <clears throat> so I had to defend myself. Imagine mentally what that could do to somebody. The average person would probably be like, this is not for me. Mind you, I still had a family, wife, kids, a house, car, like all that stuff. Left my job. But I went back out, reinvented myself, focused on the credit portion, leveraging my credit because I used my own cash at that time. I said, you know what? The course six starts today. It's no time limit on it. <clears throat> so I really want you to think about that. You get sued. You defend yourself. Mind you, this whole ordeal cost me about seventy, eighty thousand dollars. I was robbing Peter to pay Paul just to defend myself. <clears throat> what do you do? This is why your mindset is so important because I was sick for a minute. Like sick, sick. One, because I was mad because I had to go back to corporate America because I told them <laughs> I'm never coming back. <clears throat> and so I had to go back to corporate America. But then I said, you know what? I need to look at this as an experience, not a loss. Did I lose? Yes, I did. But I could always build back up because I knew too much. See, as long as you have the information, you will never go broke. You just got to get up off your ass and go out there and put the work in. That's what a lot, keeping it 100, that's what a lot of us don't do. We got, we take, we take, we've taken every single course on the internet, but we don't want to put the work in. And I know it's not anybody on here. When I say y'all, I'm talking about the masses. <clears throat> so I dusted myself off, went back, got out there, got serious on the credit tip, focused on what my passion was. <clears throat> Focused on utilizing somebody else's money, the bank money. And then I put together my strategy. So I would be up all night writing down strategies, putting down my goals. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> but then I execute it. That's what we need to do. That's how you get back in the game. See, my pain point at that time was I ain't going out like this. Yeah, I took an L. Yeah, I lost some money. <clears throat> but I am not. I refuse to go out like this. So I got up off my ass, stopped feeling sorry for myself, and said, whatever I got to do, how many ever hours I got to stay up, if I got to pawn everything in my house, I'm going to make sure that I accomplish what it was I set out to accomplish. That's that's the that's the point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired that we all should have. <clears throat> and this that this is my reasons on why I put this course together for you, because I never want you guys to ever say nobody gave us the information to get to the top. So I'm going to leave you all with that. I'm losing my voice. Uh, I appreciate you all continue to go out and support creditrepairchallenge.com creditrepairchallenge.com support your boy post a flyer let's make this thing go viral <clears throat> uh wow
during the quarantine season, somebody booked my car. So I got to get my car washed, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I ran out cars. So I don't know who, who I don't even know where they're going to go. Everything in Vegas is closed. And so uh, I appreciate y'all. Let's go out here, continue to support. Let's support each other, all my small business owners. Uh, tomorrow, I will be going live again. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go live every day for the next couple of days. What y'all think? Y'all want me to go live? Neff, what up, man? So I appreciate y'all. Let's go out here, support. Uh, continue to support the books. Continue to support the audios. Continue. I'm from Milwaukee, but I live in Las Vegas. Continue to support the course. I'm going to keep bringing y'all some content, and I'm telling y'all I got some heat coming for y'all. I'm putting together a student loan webinar to talk about all of the different things when it comes to student loan debt. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, hey, is Trump really going to forgive all student loan debt? Well, you're going to need to tune in to the webinar. I'm going to be dropping the date pretty soon. Uh, Shaky, what's up? Milwaukee, that's right. I'm going to be dropping the date for the webinar. I'm also going to be dropping the uh, how to read a credit report webinar. And these are going to be live webinars that you can register for. I'm going to be dropping uh, how to build a six-figure income in a credit space, all that. <clears throat> and so I'm going to just keep bringing you all some heat because we ain't got nothing but time right now. I'm going bored in the house, so I'm just going to be putting together courses and content and shooting videos and possibly going live more. So I appreciate y'all family. I love y'all, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Oh, yeah, Kendall, Milwaukee is completely all black, man. It's black people in <laughs> Milwaukee, y'all. All right, peace.